So within this week alone, I got maybe three phone calls and maybe at least one meetup in regards to the conversation of feeling included or family not being there for you or uh, people just doing too much for the ones that they love. And believe it or not, this is something that I've experienced. So to get these phone calls was mind blowing to me. And I shared with a cousin of mine that it amazes me how I am the one that got these phone calls, which I am grateful for that someone, uh, people can confide in me in regards to whatever, however they may be feeling. But I want to say to anybody that is feeling like nobody has your back or you feel like your inner peace is being disturbed. I'm trying to figure out just exactly how you're allowing your inner peace to be disturbed. Because if you're allowing it, that means that God never was inside of your inner peace or had nothing to do with it in the first place. You're allowing these family members, these relatives, maybe is cousins, mamas, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, friends, best friends, associates. I don't care who it is. You're allowing these people to interrupt what you have, your path that you're on. And I'm trying to figure out how this is happening. How can you let people disrupt what you got going on? These are the same people that don't pay your bills. They don't help you in any type of way. They might send you love every now and then, but do you get a phone call on a regular? No, because life sometimes evolve. And when you don't deal with people on the same regular as you did when you were younger, you know, things change, but you always end up seeing that person or seeing people and still greeting them with love. Now you got them same relatives that don't want to speak, that don't want to show you the same type of love, but in your heart, you have to still show love because that's who you are. You have to still be that bigger person that you might not want to be, but you need to present yourself because you got to remember where your help and your blessings come from. And it's not those people. You have to remember when it's time to meet your, meet your maker, your family members ain't going to be there with you. All of this animosity and hate, you can just let that fly because trust me, either they're talking about you or about a situation, but they're not helping you. But yet you're whining, crying, or feeling a certain type of way because you're, you're not in the position where you feel that you should be with these people that you call family or your loved ones or whomever. I don't care who it is, you know, because even if the people that you consider family or whoever, even if they are helping you pay your bills, you should have never volunteered. But obviously God let it on your heart to volunteer and help me pay this bill. But it mind baffles me. And this is to my single moms. There's so much government assistance. It, is mind blowing. It's crazy how much assistance you can get by just trying to make it on your own. When you try to do it on your own, there's people that's willing to help you because they see you're trying to help yourself. You have to stop letting people get into your mind to make decisions for you or alter the decision you already made for yourself and your family. I can only speak on me and the J crew. See what me and the J crew got going on. You ain't finna step on this path. No, 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 sir, no, ma'am. You ain't finna step on this path because we got a big old mansion. I'm sitting on my luxurious couch. My walls are white and clean. My furniture is good. My, my, my rug is probably from Europe somewhere. I don't know, but I got it from Ross. You know, my, my whole house decked out. You know why? Because I focus on myself and my churn. And I don't let family members and everybody else interfere with what's going on in my life. Because nobody else can dictate your life but you. Nobody else can tell you what to do with your life but you. Nobody else can disturb your inner peace unless you let them. So if you got inner peace and you claim that you got inner peace. And you're, 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 you're proclaiming this inner peace. Then you need to hold on to that. How can you allow... 
people to mess up what you've built. <sighs> How can you allow people to have an opinion of something that they ain't even got? I can't have an opinion on your relationship and I ain't even got no man. Hello. I mean, I've been through some things. I can only encourage you, but I can't tell you what to do. I ain't got no man. So, honey, don't let me tell you the wrong thing. Don't let me lead you. When it comes to marriages, oh, I'm off limits. Don't ask me. I don't know. Go talk to your husband. Or you go talk to some people that's married because I can't help you personally. Stop letting people disturb y'all peace. All in all, that is what the moral of the story is. You cannot let people disrupt your peace that was already there before they even interrupted it. And when they interrupted it, you got to learn how to fall back. And when you fall back, be secure in that fall back. Because you are the one that makes it to the next day with sanity and less stress. When you're sick and shut in, you might not hear from these same people. They might not buy you no emergency, no Tylenol, no ibuprofen, no, no orange juice. You need to figure out and move the way that God wants you to move and not move on these worldly ways of people. Human beings will literally let you down every single time. Only people that really matters is you, God, and your children. I don't know what nobody else said, but this is what I said. Me, God, and my children is who matters the most. Yes, I have loved ones in my life, but who matters and who's number one? Me, God, God, me, and my children. God, me, and my children. Stop letting people disturb y'all peace. Once it's disturbed, now you got to work on getting it back, not them. Y'all have a good night.